the first key pillar is regeneration mentally and physically, and probably more mentally is the most important part. Physically, we know the body can handle the load, but it's the mental side that's really important. And it's the best time of year to have time off because you're furthest away from playing games that matter. Okay, so best time, take it, have your one or two weeks of non-structured training. Then you want to start to build up. So then I would suggest a two-week gradual build. That might look like two runs a week on, let's say, Monday and Friday and three total body gym sessions where you're getting in, you're reintroducing load again. You might be doing some low-level plyometrics as well, just work on your stiffness, elastic qualities, working the body up, getting back. Your running volumes can be around 4 to 5K, both more aerobic focus, so not necessarily uh, a lot of speed or high intensity you're just waking the body up again for a couple of weeks so there's a pretty low level month the first of months first four weeks of your program so we have three different gym programs we've got our strength and power for those that i speak to that want to work on explosive strength so they want to improve their acceleration they want to improve their uh, ability to fend off opponents so they're Typically, these guys, their training age is quite high, so they're all guys and girls. They've been lifting in, in the weight room for a while. We've also got athlete development strength program, okay, so that's focused for those new to the gym. Uh, and then we've got a gainers program, which has some more volume across the week, particularly around the trunk. So they'll have typically four sessions a week when the strength and power and development program three. All right, so this would be after your one or two weeks off. There's no running in in this week. So for those that had a week off, this would be their second week and they want to get into some structure. They would start second week of some plyometrics and gym. And for those that want to have two weeks off running, but they want to get into some gym, they can start this on their second week. Week two, we start to bring in some running. So if they uh, haven't got any data, their club didn't use GPS, then I'll get them to work up to a max velocity sprint. Now, if you haven't sprinted for three weeks... I wouldn't expect you to open up and go as fast as you can, but just go to where you're comfortable around that 90%. But I want to send you an individualized running program uh, and I need that metric. So just go to where you're comfortable as it's prefaced in the program. Same thing for the aerobic test. So you pick one of them, 2K time trial or your six-minute aerobic capacity test. And that's purely there for me to work out an individual metric regarding your aerobic capacity So just like with the strength lifts, we work off your individualized max and give you targets to follow for your working sets. Week three, still two run sessions a week. So we've got aerobic fart leg at the start of the week with a more repeat speed session. So starting to introduce some shorter efforts, 85 meter efforts, and has some threshold running with a two minute max distance run. And the gym program is very similar to the week prior working on that volume. Then as you can see now, week four, we're starting to get into more what, what a preseason program is starting to look like. So three sessions a week. Typically, there's a bit of a mix between the sessions. So we're getting some change of, work, change of direction work coming in on the last session of the week. And that's why you've had a couple of days off before that session. So here we've got a Monday lower body session. The back squat's now moved to the Monday as we're bringing trap bar deadlifts in at the end of the week. All right, so two key lifts for our strength. So Monday... We run, then we've got our lower body strength lift. And as you can see, there's, there's been some, some evolution of the exercises there. Tuesday is an upper body day. Wednesday is a, a power session, and it's optional if you want to complete that power session prior to your field session. Then week four, we've got continual we'll hold with that three running sessions a week. We're retesting your sprint, your max velocity sprint, to see if any progress we've had with the stiffness work we've been working in the gym with your plyometrics as well as just by having a couple of weeks of speed under your belt just to see where you're at and if we need to update your individualized calendar where we prescribe the sprint which i'll show you now is for your repeat speed session because as we know repeat speed's more anaerobic dominant it's not aerobic so we don't want to take into account your aerobic test like your 2k time trial for your repeat speed we want to use your aerobic time trial because that's more threshold based and take into account your max velocity. Uh, and that we work out your anaerobic speed reserve from that. So essentially here you've got targets that you'll follow. So this is an example of an athlete. The green is for their aerobic, where they're running it anywhere between 10 and 20% slower than their 2K time trial pace for those distances.